And we'll put the hammer down on part two of Local 6 Legal Line, talking about personal injury with attorneys from the Bryan Law Center in Paducah, Mayfield, and Louisville. Answering your questions at one 208 And we have a question from Rhonda who says, My child and I were injured in a car accident. It wasn't my fault. My child was injured. My question is, does my child have a case against the person who caused the accident? Uh, yeah, your child would have a, a case or a claim uh, as long as they meet one of the thresholds under Kentucky law for, for having a claim. Uh, if, if they're injured, the injury has to be permanent or uh, they have to have incurred at least $1,000 in reasonable accident related medical expenses. Uh, there are some other thresholds that they could meet. Uh, but uh, they don't have to meet all of them. Any one of them will do. So uh, I'd say yes, they probably do as long as they've gotten some treatment. Next question comes from someone who says, I've been off from a work accident for over a month. I've not received anything yet from workers' compensation. Is there anything that I can do to make sure that I get paid uh, for my wage loss? Austin, what do you think? Yeah, well, I would say first thing to make sure is that there's been a work comp claim opened, uh, that the work comp carrier has been notified. A lot of times employers, you may tell your supervisor and your employer just like you're supposed to when you have a work injury, but then that person or HR does not go, go forward and, and contact the, uh, the worker's compensation insurance carrier to, so they can open up a file and do their investigation and, and get, the, uh, get the benefits uh, going. So I, I would make sure that's done first, and if it hasn't, I'd call the Department of Workers' Claims, and uh, there's a 1-800 number there, and you'll find out who the carrier is and, and open a file yourself. Uh, the second thing is you want to make sure you're getting your off work notes. So if a doctor's keeping you off work, uh, you have to turn that into work comp in order for them to pay that TTD or wage loss. Uh, so those two things, I'd start there, and if, if you're still not successful, then that's probably the time that you, you go ahead and call a work comp lawyer. Have a little bit more than a minute left in today's second segment, and we have a question from someone who says, I was injured in a car accident, and someone from the other insurance company is calling me and asking me to make a statement about what happened. Now, a friend told me, and we know how the friend's advice can be sometimes, a friend told me that if I make that statement, it could hurt my court case. Is that true? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it is true that it could. It wouldn't necessarily. What I would tell you is uh, you're not obligated to give a statement to the other insurance company. Uh, typically, in my experience, anything that they really want to know, uh, they should be able to find from reviewing the accident report. And there's not really going to be much that you can add to it that's going to help your case. And so they're really just digging around trying to find something that you'll say that will hurt your case. Got about 30 seconds left, time left for one quick question. Someone says, I was injured in a car wreck while in Florida on vacation. Do I need to hire a Florida attorney or can you help me? Uh, I mean, you, you can hire a Florida attorney or you can hire somebody here locally. It just depends if a lawsuit has to be filed. Uh, I'm not licensed to practice uh, law in Florida and I don't believe anybody else in, in my office is, but uh, you can still handle a case, but if a lawsuit has to be filed, then you'd have to get co-counsel, which is actually, you know, it could be a good thing for you. Basically, you get two, two law firms for the price of one. So uh, I guess a yes and no to that, to, to that question. Austin Kennedy and Kevin Shannon, our guests today from the Bryan Law Center on today's editions of Legal Line.